Imagine having to extract from the map, carrying an item that's worth $100,000 that's confirmed on the blockchain. Think about the entertainment and value for the viewers and the players, and think about all the terrible hackers and things that we're not really looking at when we're talking about this. At least not what Dr. Disrespect is referencing to in his tweet that he made a couple of days ago. Because yeah, the idea of blockchain loot and NFT items sounds like a good idea, but maybe not in the idea of I'm in the game and if I die, this person can take it away from me. Because that is the biggest motivation for literally any hacker to want to get in there and get some of that free loot because it's worth actual money, you know? It's not like you're playing for Robux or some V-Bucks or something that you, maybe you can get a trade-off with real-world trading. No, this is actual legit things that are worth actual legit money. So even if you have the best anti-cheat system in existence and you can't have any sort of software being detected into the game, what's gonna stop the hackers from literally building a robot that controls the mouse and keyboard physically? And how do you detect that, right? So maybe the dream of having to drop in, loot something that's worth a lot of money and then having to get out before someone kills you and takes from you, maybe that's not the best idea. But I'm not here to trash talk Dr. Disrespect because him and his gaming company are the ones that are kind of leading the charge. Because if you look at every other game that's out there at the moment that's blockchain related, they're 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 all terrible, man. They're they're just they're just bad, you know. They're not good at all. So when you look at Dead Drop, and especially after looking at Snapshot Five, it's actually like becoming a little bit more feasible, you know. At first, people were making fun of Dr. Disrespect because lol, look at the graphics, lol, the polygons, this looks terrible. But in the latest Snapshot, they made so many improvements that it's actually looking like an actual real nice looking game and this is just still pre-alpha access you know they've been working on it for a year and it's starting to look like a really nice polished game so maybe the idea of nft gaming will become something important in the future and it'll be a much more normalized aspect of, of society you know of the gaming society so if that's the case then the idea of going in there and looting an item that's worth so much money that people can take away from you that if that idea is not the best one for this then what can we do well i i I have a couple of suggestions. I have a couple of suggestions or ideas based on what I think would probably be the best way to go about it. But then again, I'm not a game developer. I'm not a blockchain kind of guy. I'm just some dude. But what I'm thinking about is that right now, the main issue with this concept that Dr. Disrespect is pointing out here is that you go in and someone can go into the game and take it from you, right? So if that's a hacker or someone who's able to use an unfair advantage to just take things from you, maybe one of the solutions would be to just have the loot that's worth X amount of money, the NFT loot that you find. Maybe it'd be nice to just have that bound to your account so that way maybe you get killed by a hacker or you're just severely outplayed you lose the item right but it fits account bound if it's only available to you and no one else can loot it let's say it's a cosmetic right you equip it you show it off and there's no way the other players can take it from you so in game when you find the loot you need to extract to get that thing out of there to be able to use it and then be able to trade it on if you want to right but while it's in the game the other person can't just come kill you and take it from you and then they extract and then they take the hundred thousand dollars right so Dead Drop already has the Visor Cortex, which is a unique piece that goes in your face and honestly just kind of kind of looks ugly if you're not using a helmet. But that's something that's tied to the blockchain that you can take into the game and no matter what happens, people just can't take it from you, you know? I see that and I think of, okay, this is cool. This is just like CSGO skins. This is just like Fortnite skins. If you could just trade them whenever you're tired with them, right? So that has a certain amount of value that's tied to it that you're not risking every single time you go into the game. But because honestly speaking, dude, if I had an item that's worth $100,000, there's no way in hell I would ever take that into a game and just risk it just so some Randy Andy could just shoot me from behind and take it from me. You know, I'm just not going to do that. No one in the right mind would actually do that. So this whole tweet per se is just already nullified because if there were super rare expensive items in the game, no one in their right mind would want to risk them in the first place. So they would just be sitting in your inventory not doing anything. So like I mentioned earlier with Dead Drop Snapshot 5 being released, the change is massive. And it's actually kind of scary about how fast Dead Drop is just coming right at us because this whole big bad wolf of nft gaming that everyone just despises suddenly a triple a studio making an actual decent nft game that looks and feels good and it has competitive esports potential it's just right around the corner so every single person that's out there that's been saying no nft bad no we don't want this that sort of people you still see them in the comment section but if this game succeeds and it becomes the the norm then like i don't want to sound cringe but the new era of gaming could be upon us you know where people just play the game loot stuff and then that's their nine to five jobs 
looting stuff and debt drop nonstop. But yeah, I'm not really an anti-NFT or anti-crypto guy. You guys know that I actually invest in all that stuff. But I do like to play devil's advocate when I see such huge statements made by these big streamers because yeah, of course, they're working on it. They have big dreams for what they're trying to do. But at the end of the day, it, it's all up to the players to decide the value of things and if they want to give the game a shot or not. And uh, you know, based on what I'm seeing, the game's not too bad, right? And the best part is that you don't even have to own the NFT to be able to play the game now. You They, they sell you a $25 tower key that you just purchase, tie to your account, and whoa, you're in the game. Now you can play with the rest of us and you don't have to spend like $1,000 on an NFT just to play a pre-alpha game. So yeah, I just wanted to give my opinion on this whole NFT loot gaming thing because there's a lot of people that think that this is not going to work because there's no perfect anti-cheat system and this whole dream is just a dream and that kind of hurts the progress of development of games I and mean, especially when it comes to like this new tech that's being explored. But I just wanted to share my opinions on the alternative ways of using NFTs into a game that could actually have some sort of potential here, you know? Anyways, that's all I wanted to say, guys. I'll catch you guys on the next one.